All right. <laughs> Time to talk about the Clippers tonight, or today, or whenever you're watching this video. Well, this year's uh, Clippers uh, went through a big change. I mean, they brought in a lot of uh, pieces that's going to help them in the future. I don't know, but they've lost. Uh, they lost a good bit too. They lost Karan Butler, Lamar Odom. Well, I, I don't know if you want to call Lamar Odom a loss. He's dealing with a lot of stuff right now, and he's he's getting up there in age too. So, who knows what's going on with him? But uh, yeah, Butler, Grant Hill, which is over the hill, and then you have Chauncey Billups, who's he's he's up there too. But uh, in return, they brought in uh, JJ Redick, you know. Dudley, uh, a few other guys, along with uh, go along with uh, Crawford, who's already there, and you know Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, Chris Paul, re-signed, so you know he's going to be there for a while. The most important thing is they uh, they got Doc Rivers. Now we're we're going to see how this works out because uh, you know Doc coming from the Celtics, he didn't want to go through the rebuilding era. He, uh, he 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 kind of forced his way out of Boston. He didn't want to have to deal with all that. He he wants to win pretty much. He wants to be in a team for a team that's good, you know. You know, I guess he just doesn't want to. He doesn't want to work at it. He wants to be able to walk in and win. Oh, he's you know I, I guess you can say he's like a like a players. They don't some older players. They don't want to stick around through a uh, sinking ship, so I, I can kind of see where he's going with it. I mean, I appreciate everything he did for Boston, because uh, I'm a big, big Boston fan, but, nah, it's whatever. But, uh, as far as this team goes, everyone has them going all, doing all these great things. Uh, with the West, with with Golden State and San Antonio, the the, uh, the Rockets, I don't see this team being as good as everyone thinks they're going to be. They're going to be a top four team, but I mean, they might even go to number five if OKC can uh, have Westbrook back soon enough, and you know they can mesh together, but. Oh, and uh, the Grizzlies, too. Grizzlies are right up there with them. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think they did all that great. I mean, yeah, they brought in a few pieces, but, I mean, not not a whole lot of pieces. So, a few bench players and, a, you know, a coach, which is the coach is going to make all the difference. I mean, he's already doing a lot of changes and everything in there, you know, putting more confidence and to Chris Paul and Blake Griffin. I did like uh, what uh, Doc said. He said, you guys haven't done anything yet. And he said he got kind of tired of seeing all the commercials. That was pretty interesting. Uh, you know, it's a it's a pretty big shot at uh, Chris Paul and uh, Blake Griffin, seeing how they're established all-stars now. But when you think about it, what what have they done, you know? Coming from Boston, everyone there has won a ring, pretty much. KG, Paul Pierce, Rondo, they all won their ring, and they almost got another one. You know, and so, I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see this year. I, I'm not too buzzed on the, this team, but they're going to be up there. They're going to be in the top tier teams, top ten teams again, but they're definitely going to, they're definitely going to outshine L.A., but L.A. will get all the media and will get all the press, like always. It, it don't matter. They could, they could win, or they could lose every game, but they're still going to get all the media. It's going to be, it's going to be uh, Lakers, it's Lakers City. But uh, anyways, what do you all think? Let me know.